What a great opportunity to see William Joseph in concert on Friday, October 9th at Hoyt Sherman Auditorium in Des Moines and be there right at the beginning of this guy's explosive career, we think. If you've seen him perform in the studio tonight, and we probably will have a few more of those performances, I think uh, you've already been impressed by what he can accomplish. A $160 contribution allows you to be there in person and experience it live on October 9th. Check your calendar. William Joseph is in the studio tonight with Terry Hale. Let's go over and have a conversation with him while we urge you to call and support Iowa Public Television. Terry. Thank you so much, Todd. And we are just thrilled to have William Joseph here. We're thrilled to have your calls coming in. And I am so excited about the concert. I'm going to be there and I'm going to bring my seven. Well, my daughter actually will be 18 at that time, but she takes keyboard lessons and you'll be a great inspiration for her. And, you know, we had the opportunity to hear you play one of your original compositions yes. earlier. The music in the concert is music that you've composed, but some of it in conjunction with David Foster, right? Yes. Um, I've, I've written a lot of music uh, that I'll be playing in the concert, um, but in the studio there were a lot of times where I got to uh, sit down on a bench with David Foster and we'd just sit there and, and I'd play an idea and then he'd like push me over to the side and say well what about this and then I'd push him back okay but what about this and so we had this really fun uh, collaboration and, um, and, and this uh, experience to write together and, and we've just we've written a lot of things together now and it's just once again I can't believe I'm saying that that I got to write with Mr. David Foster uh, but I'll definitely be showcasing that in the in the concert, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I mean, any any uh, any musician, any music lover, uh, just come out. It's going to be like uh, nothing you've seen before, and uh, plus it's going to be helping PBS, which is which is so important uh, for musicians like myself, for Josh Groban, uh, all these kinds of musicians. This is our this is our way to to get out to the world, and so we we definitely. Appreciate your support. And I know that uh, you've talked about PBS being an important influence on you huge, as you huge. grew, but you know, your story is amazing. Your musical talent was actually discovered on a toy piano when you were four. <laughs> you've got to tell us the yes, story. Yes, it was a glorious uh, experience. <laughs> but when I was about four years old, um, so the story goes, I was watching uh, the show Fraggle Rock, and I loved the theme music from that, from that uh, show. And so I ran into the toy room and I grabbed this little toy piano, <laughs> threw it in front of the TV, and I started playing along with the theme both hands together and my parents were standing behind me and they're, they kind of looked at each other and like hey we should we should get him lessons <laughs> and uh, so that's kind of that's kind of how it started and it's amazing how they found your piano teacher who uh, basically you worked with through your whole life yes um, you know this right after they saw me um, play this song they went to the phone book they had no idea where to find a piano teacher it, the first person they called happened to be this graduate from Leningrad Conservatory from Russia who happened to come to Phoenix and so I studied all the strict classical music uh, for 13 years but I always also did writing I wrote my first song when I was five and have just been writing ever since so it's just been a long long journey and, and you had mentioned PBS having a big influence in my life um, I remember when I was 15 or 16 for the first time seeing uh, Yanni's Live at the Acropolis and I was blown away I'd never seen anything like that, you know, it was this huge production around a piano, and it was it wasn't just the strict classical music. And I was like, that's what I want to do. And it and it truly, and I'm not just saying this because I'm standing here in the walls of PBS, but it truly shaped my career, like, and it gave me direction on where I should go. So I just um, I really appreciate PBS and excited to be here. Well, people calling and pledging their support right now can be a part of continuing to help shape William's career because your investment uh, supports the public television place that brings you great performers like William Joseph and might even maybe someday bring him his own PBS special. You know, <laughs> enough people call and make a pledge. That could happen. Well, I'm being told that now we are lucky enough to get to hear you play another of your original compositions. What will it be? Um, this is one off of my latest album. This is called Sweet Remembrance of You. And uh, from my understanding, I just found out that the Celtic women are actually um, performing to this song now on their big tour through the States. Really? So I was, I'm actually flying to a show in a couple of weeks to go see, to meet them and see them perform it. So, That's fantastic. But this is uh, Sweet Remembrance of You. Live here at Iowa Public Television.